Yeah, trip down to the bank, 16 miles, 25 minutes, 265 watt hours per mile. Um, I want to take something out of order, but let's do, let's do it in order. So the Highland Lake Boulevard stop sign. Yes, FSD reached out and grabbed it, called it. Oh, it's my stop sign. No, it's not. He, and in fact, there's a car there testifying to the fact that it's his stop sign, not yours. Get over it. Okay, whatever. Um, so when we turn out onto uh, Loman Ford, since we're the third person in line, and, and we're actually we're rolling up when the light actually turns green, um, FSD's doing a little dance with the steering wheel. Um, Try and decide when that's safe to go. I'm waiting for the vision input. Well, eventually gets it, does fine. It's just a little delay. Um, it's better than it used to be. I'll say that. Is it is it completely there yet? No, it's not. Um, okay, so coming up to we're back on the onto 1431. Coming up to the 45 speed zone, the construction zone. So just before that, there's a there's a pickup in front of me, an F-150. Um, FST says, oh, well, I'm going to pass him. Yes, we're in a 55 zone. That truck's reacting to the 45 zone, slowing down. So, oh, we're going fast. What's that? Oh, what happens when we get to the 45 zone? Uh, well... Uh, I was going really fast. Uh, 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 I want to pass him. Uh, uh, yes. What's the point of initiating a pass when you're entering a redu reduced speed zone? You don't know what the other vehicle is going to do. Right? And you're, you end up stuck over there in the fast lane, so to speak. But what, what's that? Oh, the fast lane is about to be closed. So what's the point? Okay. In the meantime, there is a, there is a car that's coming up a little bit faster behind us, but not a lot faster. And then there is a, there later is a pickup who is absolutely flying through there. Oh, it's a 55 zone. Huh? I'm driving a Super Duty. Yeah. Yeah. All, all you all you people, as much as you hear me in this video saying how bad FSD is. And in some ways, it is. It's it, it comes and goes, right? I mean, there are times when it's the best thing in the world, and then there's some stupid, and it's like that's really, really stupid. It it's just a mix. I mean, that's true with almost any product, but uh, as high hopes as as uh, I have for FSD, it falls way short of it. But I mean. Other people are testing more advanced versions and they're saying, oh, this is really great. Of course, sometimes I'm wondering just how great, are you paying attention? Do you know what's going on? When when my car does stuff, it's like, oh my goodness, what just happened? Yeah, whatever, peace and harmony. Um, since we're in the construction zone, yes, I do break on SD off. I don't, I just, the, the, Control freak part of me, wherever that is, none, there is a piece of me that is, just doesn't trust FSD in sensitive situations. Okay, no, I know what it is. There was a, there was a guy walking around out there. Okay, FSD sees that guy walking around. And says, oh, break! Oh, you got to break! What for? He's on inside the cone. Now we're on our side of the cone. I mean. You don't have to go 25 miles an hour here. That'd be stupid. Um, but anyway, whatever, peace and harmony. So while we're driving along, I do eventually uh, try to re-invoke FSD. And almost immediately, it throws up the red hands at me. The red hands means I'm not paying attention. What? No, you're supposed to have some kind of timing where... You give me time to do something with the steering wheel before you say, oh, you're asleep at the wheel. Um, what? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Hey, break on FC off. No. That's stupid. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I missed a part. I'm sorry. 
this is the part where I'm really mad and this is where I wanted to go out of order. So going back to Loman Ford, we we we're we're halfway between uh, Boggy Ford and, and the school, the elementary school. Um there's a box truck coming the other way. Where's his wheels? His wheels are kind of on the dividing line. Okay? FSD, the car, goes by him no problem. No, no indication of any problem whatsoever. Then all of a sudden you hear the uh, proximity alert. Like you're about to have an accident. Yes. FS, uh, the Tesla automation has that. It, it, it's, it's annoying. What, it, what is it alarming about? As far as I can tell, it's a truck that's already, what, three car lengths past me. Right? If your alarm is to say, oh, we're about to have an accident, this car would have been a pancake already. Okay? And I can't, I can't imagine any other car in the, in the vicinity who, who's a problem. So what was the point of that? It's, it's appearing more and more likely that this car, the compute power in this car is overwhelmed by FSD. That's a, that's a, that's a good possibility. I mean, I, I, I've, I've seen suggestions that um, FSD 12 is a low compute power, but I'm guessing that FSD 11.4.4 is not a low compute power. Now, granted, I am in an older uh, Model 3. I mean, it's a 2020. So if, if, uh, if FSD is not going to work on a, on a 2020 Model 3, I sure wish somebody would tell me right now. Not that I'm in a position to do anything about it, but it'd be nice to start planning for the future as opposed to just living with the past. Okay, whatever. Um, where are we? We're, we're, we're in the construction zone. I got the red hands. Whatever. Come on. Um, so as we're, as we're exiting the construction zone, I put FST back on. Um, since it picks up with the 45 mile per hour speed zone and Jonestown's 45 mile per hour speed zone. So it's a match. We're doing good. Um, so the next part is the, the traffic light in Jonestown. For some reason, FSD, when he's coming around the corner and he sees that green traffic light, and it's green, he goes, oh, I better slow down. It's a green traffic light. I'm not sure. Uh, we, we shouldn't go fast here. So he's down five miles an hour. Yeah, we're doing 40 and 45 zone. Compared to coming down Boggy Ford. Boggy Ford, he was doing 40 in the 40 zone. Confident, pretty secure in what he was doing. Now the one curve he has to slow down for, uh, slows down five miles an hour. Why? Because he doesn't have absolute, complete uh, 360 view of everything in the world. I don't know, whatever it is. Peace and harmony. Let's, let's look at what we got. So anyway, almost every time I go to come through Jonestown going uh, eastbound, he, he looks up, oh, it's a green light. I better slow down. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, peace and army. So there is a, there is a, actually it's the, the uh, slightly slow F-150 I've been following for a long time. Uh, other than there were other cars in front of me, but um, so as we as we go past the traffic light, FSD decides he's going to he's going to initiate a pass. He's initiating a pass, going into a curve. It's not that the car can't handle it; it's FSD. FSD overcooks the curve. He's on the bumps. Boom, 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 boom. So we have to slow down a little bit, recover, and then go forward again. Fortunately, the cops weren't right there, or they probably would have come after me. There's already, there's already speed warning signs of 35 there. 
Although I usually treat speed warnings as it's just a warning. You don't have to follow that speed. But if you show you can't handle it, all of a sudden, yes, you have to. Okay? Whatever. Peace and harmony. All right, so coming out of Jonestown, we're all good. Um, I pushed the car back to the outside lane manually in the 50 zone. So for some reason, if I see, and I think possibly there was a car that passed me, so that car's sort of going faster than me. Maybe not always, but sort of. I think the FSD says that car is going slower. I'm going to go around him. I'm going to, uh, we're, that car is far away. Several hundred feet away. Maybe even a tenth of a mile. We're not close to that car. The FSD initiates, oh, we're going to get in the inside lane to go around some imaginary car. The only thing I imagine is that car that's up there somewhere. He's not close. Anyway, so he initiates his, his uh, move. Now, there is a Fiat 500 coming up behind me. It's not close yet, but he's coming up. So he's going faster than me. And that's the one thing I'm kind of noticing with FSD is one of the initiators of his action is California Road Rager mentality. Is, oh, there's a car coming up behind me. I better move into that lane before he blocks me out. Do what? That's not the right thing to do. That's not safe. Not proper. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. So once he once he finishes his move into the inside lane, the uh, right turn signal on by the human driver. What does FSD do? FSD says, "Oh, well, I'm not going to honor that." That'd be stupid. I just, I worked so hard to get into the inside lane. Break on FSD off. Move the car over. Message sense that since you can't handle moving to the right, I'll do it for you. Right? I don't even know why you had to be in the inside lane, except for that California road rager mentality that you have. It's so embedded in the system. Right? I can't. I think I've said this before. They they actually need different different uh, performance levels, so to speak. And I need the old man. I don't want to get an accident mode. Right? No. If I want to enjoy pressing on the accelerator and accelerating, I'm going to do that manually. I don't have FSD do it. I'm going to do it. The rest of the time, no. I want the car to be driving safely. That's what it's supposed to do. Come on, man. All right. So, um, at some point, oh, so coming up on Anderson Mill intersection, and I'm over a tenth of a mile away. There's a school bus that's turning left, so it goes across the intersection. Was F? FST starts braking. We're nowhere near the intersection yet. FSD is braking. Okay, brake on. FSD off. Come on, dudes. What what are you braking for? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. There's a school bus there. We're nowhere near a school bus. And there's several cars between us and the school bus. Right? So he's braking. Actually, I don't do brake on FST off. I put my phone accelerator, it keeps the car moving, and then let off a little bit. So when we finally get up to that traffic light, FST's going, oh, oh, uh, there was a school bus went through here earlier. Uh, I better be careful. Yes, there are people who are going to turn left. They're waiting for you to go by. And what are you doing to them? Oh, you're doing the California Road Rager thing. Ha, 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 I'm going to make you wait for me to go by. Is that what he's doing? I mean, if it, was, if it was human, human driver, that's what you would think they were doing. This is software. Unless they really programmed that in. And that would be stupid and unsafe. Anyway, whatever, peace and harmony. Once we get past the traffic light, FSD kind of calms down. It says, oh, I'm on a normal road with normal traffic. Yes, you are. Where'd you think you were? Okay. Come on. 
Um, so pulling into the bank, he, he makes the turn, although he's kind of jerky about making a turn. But as soon as he starts almost off the road, it's like he wants to come to a stop. There's not a place to come to a stop. I mean, if it was robo-taxi, I wouldn't be dropped off in front of the bank, not beside the bank. So the side of the bank faces the 1431. So come on, man. Whatever. Take over. We're parked. We're good. It's, a, it's kind of a mixed bag today. Okay. Day, night difference. Or night and day difference, whatever you say. Anyway, two miles, five minutes. I mean, it's not far, right? 236 watt hours per mile. All right, so this is just the bank to HUB. Welcome to HUB. Um, so usually when I'm at the bank, I, the, I pull around to the back side and I'm pulling over to a side road that then leads up to 1431. Uh, almost never any traffic there. And it's pretty, it's very simple. As opposed to trying to go on to Lake Line, which is, that's always busy. Okay, so anyway. Turn from uh, when I pull out on that road, FSD on, let him in on the stop sign, no problem. Um, human driver, left turn signal, push the car over to the left, and again, left turn signal, push the car over to the left into the inside lane. So we're good. Um, I'm, I'm kind of surprised because there's two lanes when you're coming eastbound, there are two lanes that turn to the left. And the lane you want to be in is the right of those two lanes. And even though there's a semi dump truck parked up there waiting to make his left turn, FSD chooses to stay in that, that right lane. It's the right choice. I'm just surprised he does that. I'm so used to California road rage remote. Oh, I got to do this. Anyway, so he does it right. Um, it's, it's a little uh, not smooth coming into the HB parking lot. Okay, but that part's good. Now, navigation for some reason has a spot picked out down this row of cars, but in the HB parking lot proper, it's all one way or the other. And the way navigation has set up is he wants to navigate down this row, but he's navigating the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. So as soon as I see that, that's what he's going to do, I look at navigation and say, yeah, that's what he's going to do. As soon as I feel him starting to do it, yep, break on FC off, take over manually, um, come park essentially where I, in the basic area where I'd normally like to park anyway. So there you go. Um, Other, other, it's not FSD's fault, right? That's navigation. Navigation, for whatever reason, it, 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 and it's not really rated for parking lot, so to speak, but it's also, the spot it's picked doesn't go to the front door. So it won't work for robo-taxi either. But whatever, peace and harmony, this part, for the most part, was good. Okay, home again, home again, GD jog. 18 miles. 34, 34 minutes, 231 watt hours per mile. Okie dokie. So the good news is pulling out HEB onto Bell. FSD follows navigation and moves quickly from the inside lane to the middle lane to the outside lane and into the right turn lane. Awesomeness. The way you're supposed to do it. Okay. It goes downhill from here. So coming up in the turn lane, oh, there's a Jeep up there in, in the outside lane. And you can tell by the angle of that Jeep, he wants to cut out and go either go into the turn lane or wherever he's going. And sure enough, yes, I break, I break FSD off. And that's exactly what that Jeep does. Once he sees that I'm not going to hit him, now, gee whiz, I don't know. As it turns out, he's going to McDonald's or something. I don't know exactly. You don't have to. Okay, whatever, Peace and Army. So since FSD is off, 
German driver makes the makes the turn and move, quickly moves into the middle lane. FSD back on. Okay, FSD. Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. He looks up the road and says, "Hey, you know what? There's a cement mixer in the inside lane. Maybe we should follow him because that's the faster lane." Ignoring the fact that the lane in front of me is open for a fair ways up past that cement mixer. No, no, no. So, obviously, they have a trainee who's being taught by California Road Rager. What does California Road Rager say? Oh, the right lane is always the slowest. It's the worst lane you could possibly be in. Okay, so we're up to the point. No, we're still in the three lane part. So I'm actually in the middle of, of three lanes. Okay. FST turns on the turn signal. He goes left. Guess what Mr. Cement Mixer does? Oh, he's actually going to turn. So he slows down, makes a turn. <gasps> yes. Whoever it is who's from the FST committee who's driving today says, Oh, wait, oh, uh, hey, wait, uh, I need to get in the middle lane. Okay, so he goes in the middle lane. Guess what happens there? Because he let a slower car go by on his right, now he's behind a slower car. And he's so upset by that, he's ready to switch back to the inside lane. Okay, enough of this silliness. Break on, FSD off. Message sent uh, some to the effect of, we're switching lanes back and forth, can't we just pick one lane? No, I know what it is, I said, no, enough silliness. I'm just gonna drive straight for a ways. And then we'll worry, worry about what comes later. Okay, why, 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 why? Okay, so after New Hope, I think it's after New Hope. No, it's before New Hope. Okay, maybe before Anderson Mill, FSD back on. Okay, so if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned something about a school bus that made a left turn and crossed the street in front of us. And FST from far away was braking hard. Do you recall that? Hey, guess what? Yes, there, here comes a minivan going eastbound. He's making a left turn going on uh, whatever road that is. There, a uh, wire road or something. Um, and it's, it's the same thing. We're closer, but still far away still. Not time to be reacting hard. Yeah, FSD goes on the brakes, slows down. By the time we get up to Wire Road, that van that you're worried about hitting is, what, 250 feet up the road from us. Why? And... If you're going to do that every time, this is going to be impossible to drive. This is stupidity in action. Okay, I, it, it, this, this is close to one of the worst drives I've had in a long time. Yeah, whatever. Peace and Army. Okay. Um, where are we at? So the minivan passes by, brake on SD off. Um, and then get get going again. So we're roll we're rolling. We roll up to a traffic light. I think it is. I turn on FST. Okay, there, there, there is a black Honda Accord, who, who's like hanging just off my bumper, rear bumper. So he's too close for me to get over. Um. So I just have to be patient and wait. I catch up to him at the next traffic light. And this seems like it'd be a perfect time to go by him. But, I, oh. <laughs> so my garage door is closed. This is my garage door. Except FSD, uh, Tesla, whatever. Sometimes the, the bus is parked... Uh, perpendicular to me and sometimes it's parked horizontal but when it parks horizontal the back of the bus is on top of my hood 
Come on, man. I'm not, not even, I'm not in a good mood for this stuff today. Okay, where, where are we? So anyway, we're playing games with this black Honda. So eventually he does figure out that he actually is going somewhere and he goes up the road a little bit. Good. That's where that's what you should do. Just get away from me. Leave the lane open so I can go so I can speed up. Um So finally in Jonestown. I was about to go left, then I saw there was a car turning. So I stayed stayed to the right, stayed in the outside lane, go by that mess. Okay. Shortly after that, there was a Ford F-150 or 250, whatever it was. It was a Ford pickup who's turning left. He's in the turn lane. As just after we go by, Tesla again sounds the collision alarm. There's no other cars immediately around me except for the truck I just passed. Is that what the alarm's for? The alarm's about... The truck I've already passed? I mean, again, my car would be a pancake because I would have run into the back end of that truck that was stopped. But the alarm goes off way after that. Now, earlier I was talking about compute power. The feeling that, that Tesla, in this case, FSD, is overwhelming the computer in the car. I don't know how else to look at it. I don't know. It seems, but that's twice in one drive or twice in a series of drives where the collision alarm has sounded after the potential collision has already gone by. Come on. Okay. Whatever. It's getting, it's getting kind of ridiculous. So we, we finally come up in the construction zone. For some reason, I, I, it looks like the crews are packing up and getting off the road. Although, no, what they're doing is they're sticking down the little white stickies, the lane dividers. They put down little stickies before they paint. So apparently they got a group of guys who are, are walking along putting down those stickies. Right, they're they're well within their their cones, not not a problem. Oh, we automatically parked. I guess I didn't park. Um, yeah, I guess I get so used to it, I don't have to park. <laughs> the car will do it for you. Anyway, um, I'm guessing it's either the guys putting down little stickies or just watching the various pieces of equipment coming down back eastbound. For some reason, everybody's going, oh, whoa, whoa, and it's backed up. Okay. This is the perfect place to let FSD take over, right? He can't possibly screw this up. We're just going, we're, I mean, they have one of those Scorpion trucks, right? And on it, it has this, how fast we're going. We're going like six miles an hour. And we should slow down? What? Come on. Whatever, peace and army. That's not the point here. The point is, turn on FSD. Let FSD follow this red Jeep thing. All right? Let, let him do it. I want. Do you have to take a IQ test to drive a, to buy a Jeep? I mean, the two Jeeps I saw today, they were driven by idiots. Oh, my goodness. I mean... If you want to drive like that off road, go go ahead. Just go, go far away. Hopefully, you're driving a place where it's noted that uh, wheeled vehicle, uh, powered vehicles could be there, and I won't be hiking there. You know, just stay away from me. Don't don't be on the paved road with me. Don't share a road. You, 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 I don't know how you even have license plates on Jeeps. At least. By these two Jeeps I saw today, oh my goodness. Anyway, whatever. All right. My, my, my main complaint today. Oh my goodness. All right. I turn on FSD. Let him follow this Jeep. 
what does he do? He says, oh, oh, they must have not, either the trainees from California Road Ranger land or if it, it's California Road Ranger. Like, oh, I can't stand going six miles an hour in 45 zone. Oh, I got to change. Um, where are you going? So on the right side is dirt, right? The road ends. On the left side, there are orange cones blocking it off, saying you're not supposed to go left of the orange cones. Which, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to turn my turn signal. I'm going to go around these guys. What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yes, automatic F. No. You don't do that. Not a construction zone, no. And you know you know who's ahead, right? It's those guys walking along the road putting down little sticky things. So if you do go left of those cones, you're going to run over construction workers. Hello? Anybody in there from the AI team? Hello? Elon, you around? Hello? Come on. No, this is bad, 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 bad. I, what? And I've, I've had it do, it's, I've had it do something like this before several times where it, it feels there's a spot between the construction cones. That there, there's a long line of construction cones, but it says, there's a spot there. I can shift lanes. The construction zones, the construction cones, and in some cases barrels, mean nothing to me. I Feel free. Call me out on it. Elon, you had the video from my car, right? Or you can pull the video from my car. Prove me wrong. You can't, you can't prove me wrong. It's a fact. Now, if you don't act in an appropriate time, you lose the video, then, yeah, too bad. Then it's only my YouTube video against you on doing a spaces thing on X. I don't know, whatever. Yes, I'm not a big fan of X. I know that's where, oh, well, X is where you go to make money. I'm, I'm doing YouTube more for fun. Although it would be nice if I made money at it. But I don't have to yield to anybody's political views or somebody's ownership of a platform. Oh, yes, YouTube's owned by Google and by Alphabet. Whatever, peace and harmony. I don't know. I could say more, but at this point, FSD's off. It doesn't come back on. It doesn't matter what else happens today. Okay? The grade's enough. This is, this is, this is not an inactive construction zone where you can do whatever you want. Okay? It's not. You shouldn't be doing this stuff. Okay. It actually should be enough minus, right? But I'll tell you, the more troubling thing is I got two alarms today, collision alarms, which sounded way after the potential collision would have happened. You know, that's stupid. And I had, um, oh, I forgot what it is. Oh, the people crossing the road, right? The vehicles crossing the road where you're going, oh, I better break. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're too close. I'm going to run into them. You're nowhere near them. It's like 11.4.4 is degrading. It's getting worse and worse. If somebody buys a brand new Tesla and gets 11.4.4 in it, I feel sorry for him. This is pretty bad. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. I'm sure it'll get better sooner or later. It's just a question of when will Tesla feel the need to actually provide a product that works. The grade's enough.